In Iowa, partial results from Monday's caucus show former South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg with a narrow lead over Senator Bernie Sanders in the delegate count, while Sanders continues to lead the popular vote overall in Iowa. This is Buttigieg speaking in New Hampshire. A little later than we anticipated, but better late than never. Official, verified caucus results are coming in from the state of Iowa. They're not complete, but results are in from a majority of precincts, and they show our campaign in first place. With 71 percent of the precinct results announced so far, it's not clear when the rest of the results will be announced. Democratic officials have attributed the chaos in Iowa to a newly created app built by a little-known firm called Shadow. The New York Times reports the company was founded by members of former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign, and its previous work had been marred by failures and a near bankruptcy. Nevada's state Democratic Party says it will now not use the shadow app in its upcoming caucus later this month. Buttigieg's campaign paid shadow $42,500 for software rights and subscriptions this summer. Former Vice President Joe Biden, who currently fourth place in Iowa, also had contracts with Shadow in 2019. Many say the fiasco in Iowa may mark the end of Iowa's first-in-the-nation caucus tradition. In a piece headlined, Kill the Tradition, New Hampshire and Iowa Should Not Vote First, the Boston Globe editorial board called for, quote, the end of an antiquated system that gives outsized influence in choosing presidents to two states that demographically more resemble 19th-century America than they do the America of today, unquote. We'll have more on what we know and still don't know from Iowa after headlines.